Thieves hit an AT&T store in Altamont Springs at lunchtime today, and investigators believe the same group has been targeting similar stores for weeks. West News' Dave McDaniel was first on scene today. Dave, was anybody hurt? Well, thankfully, Meredith, nobody was hurt. No weapons were seen and no threats were made. But the authorities do believe that there is a group of people traveling around Central Florida, going from store to store, playing help themselves to the latest in technology. Altamont Springs Police used a smartphone to provide us with the video that they want everyone to study. Six young people come into the store initially looking to make a very common business deal. Started talking to them about transferring a phone from uh, one company to another. When the clerk asked for IDs, the young ladies walked outside, leaving the guys behind. All at once, all three grabbed phones tied to the walls with cables and ran out the front of the store with about five of them in all. It's based on some intelligence information that we're gathering from other agencies that uh, these may not be the same players, but the same uh, type MO that the other AT&T stores have seen. He's talking about a Sanford store in late November, an Orange County store a couple of days before Christmas, and an ACOE store in that same time period. Intelligence information, talking to these other agencies based on some of the information they provided us and uh, what we gathered here today after the uh, theft, it appears that they're going to be related. Not all of the stores had the same video surveillance, so they want everybody to look at these people shown on camera just before the snatch and grab thefts. All six individuals did nothing to disguise themselves, so we're hoping somebody sees this video and places that phone call. And that phone call he wants everybody to make is to Crime Line. If you recognize anybody on that video, that number again is 800 423 TIPS. And Pelton also points out that anytime there's retail theft like this, it costs all of us by driving up the prices for legitimate shoppers. And also, he says to discourage this type of behavior, people need to be extra cautious about ever buying secondhand products. Make sure you know where they came from. Reporting live in Aldermont Springs, Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.